What is happening, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant, bringing you two updates from Storm Bowling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Okay, we've got two releases coming stateside from Storm Bowling. Let's take a look at them now. Behold, we finally have the Storm Fate and a limited edition release, the Sunstorm. Woo, okay. There's a lot to talk about here because there's a different legacy with each of these balls and both of them are significant okay the new belmo ball is on the left i have been covering that ball for quite some time on this channel but i did not know anything about this new sunstorm this one took me by surprise and if it looks familiar to you that's because we've seen it before it's an old ball that storm made a long time ago in a galaxy far far away and it's now being released as a limited edition so let's head on over to the interwebs and talk about this what is going on here so we're going to talk about the Belmo ball first because this is the one that everybody's wanting to talk about. And I'm going to start with the universal release date this time. It is coming out November 18th, 2022. Okay. So this ball, there's a lot of technology and we finally can confirm it is a pearl. Okay. So going over to the spec sheet, this ball has the REX Pro Reactive cover stock and features the F8 core as in fate, right? has reactive gloss okay this is good because it's not 1500 grit polished uh the color sapphire pearl there's that color again sapphire i know everybody's waiting for the iq tour sapphire that may or may not come someday uh this ball has medium high flare potential the fragrance cherry berry smoothie say that five times fast and i that sounds like something i would get like an icy at 7 7-eleven sounds delicious the number is at 15 pounds 2.52 rg with a 0 0.053 differential okay so what is this ball here, you know, used for? This is basically your quintessential skid snap reaction. Okay, now if we go over to the design intent and you work through all the, you know, Storm's been breaking records, Belmo's been breaking records, and all the marketing stuff, um, we know that this F8 core is packed with more differential than any of the previous Belmo balls before. <clears throat> okay, which is important because. You don't want too much differential or else the thing will really be uncontrollable and that's not going to be helpful what good is power if you can't use it right now what they're doing is they're talking about that this weight block was designed for multiple angles and to have better performance regardless of the reverie so they're, the translation there is they're looking for versatility now this has rex pearl if you remember the trend the original that was r2s pearl and that ball was very over under so if I'm reading this right, this looks like it's going to be your typical skid snap symmetrical pearl reaction, probably because it's REX, which has nano extreme in it, right? It's a blend of R2S and nano extreme going to have a bigger footprint on the lane, which means you're going to have a little bit more of a versatile condition, a la kind of almost like a symmetrical version of the dark coat, which isn't a bad thing at all. Now, if you're wondering about this core, this F8 core, it's almost like we've seen this core before, and I'm going to tell you why, because it looks to me very similar to the shape of the sky of the from the rocket series, right? If you just look at these two ball, it just looks like they shrunk it. But you see, it's got some of the similar lines here in the bottom, right? So it looks like they took out a core to me and modified it and increased the differential to give you that ultimate reaction. But they're both very similar RGs, right? So the Fates 252 and the Skyrocket and any of the Rockets 254. They're right in the same category, but this uh, differential here is 053, right? So that, that's a pretty solid amount of differential. So, you know, this is going to be basically something that you're going to use on a variety of conditions. And I expect should be, if you sand it correctly, you could also use it on a sport condition and make a lot of two-handers very, very happy because Belmo's very particular about his reactions. And, of course, you've got Fate, the F8 core. So you got an 8 going on here. So F and then 8. That's very, very interesting lot into the design intent and the pour does look spectacular love the color okay let's talk about this sunstorm limited edition that's the key word limited and i'm guaranteeing i'm gonna tell you this right now this ball is going to sell out okay it's going to be a classic and when it's gone they're not going to make anymore and guess what it's going to go up in value so if you have got a hookup with your pro shop you're going to want to get one because Basically, in my opinion, this is just the spec version of an IQ Tour Solid, which for a control ball sounds pretty awesome. Okay. Now, if we look at the spec sheet, so you've got spec solid reactive cover, C3 centripetal core, 4K fast. That's very important, by the way. 
Uh, radiant yellow, medium uh, flare potential, lemon meringue. That sounds great. The number is at 15 pounds, 249029. Okay, so 249029. That's what we're talking about here. Where have we seen that for? The IQ Tour. Um, these It's basically the same core, same specs. The only difference is it's going to be uh, spec, right? And if you remember spec, uh, I think the big thing there, if I'm not mistaken, was less absorption of oil, something along those lines. But I do remember having a spec ball. I had the ProMotion, and that ball was very controllable. So if you remember, if you go back and look at the old version of this ball, the old version ball was a two-piece ball, and it was an upside-down light bulb core. So I'm guessing they went to look and mimic the reaction, and they came up with spec and using the same numbers as the uh, IQ Tour, which is also a light bulb core. And you get a pretty controllable reaction. I'm guessing this is going to be one of those tour balls. Or if you just wanted to have one single ball, nothing else. You've got a little bit of surface shine. And you could probably use it in all three games of league play. Should be pretty good on the league condition. Now, my favorite part of the review, the shelf, shelf appeal. Because it's all about the marketing. This Sunstorm, it's a classic look. I've Anybody who knows anything about Storm Balls has seen this ball before in the history books. You've seen it in magazines before. Like, you've seen it in old videos. Like, everybody's seen this ball one, one time or another, right? It's historical. And so it's just got that classic vintage look, and I like that. I, I just I think I mentioned a few videos ago, I was looking, it'd be nice if Storm did a vintage series. This is probably the closest we're going to get for a while, and I think this is great. Good job, Storm. That said, this fate, I do like this logo. This is a fantastic logo. I really like the design. It has meaning. F8 is in the core. You know, it it's continuous. You know, you, this is kind of almost like an infinity symbol. So there's a lot of meaning here. And I do like that. And I think if they were both looking on the rack, I'm going to have to give it to the fate just because I like pearl bowling balls. Um, I want to go back to one thing, which I forgot to do. we got to talk about the release date for the Sunstorm. It does come out December 9th, 2022. So, which one of these do you think looks good, right? What do you think about these balls? Do you like the Fate? Do you like the Sunstorm? If you were going to get one, what layout would you go with? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.